All right, is uh, Jillian Lee on the line with us? She has a brand new uh, film. It's called Friends. Effing. Friends. Effing. Friends. All right, so, you know, we're, I, I'm just dying to ask because, you know, we've been saying the title all morning long. What, what's the premise of this uh, new film you're on? You know, it's a, a postmodern romantic comedy about mm-hmm. a bunch of friends who F each other. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, describe your character, please. Um, you know, Laura is having a hard time. She really, really wants to be in a committed relationship like so many of us do, but uh-huh. she's pretty much doing everything she can to not to not actually be in one. <laughs> Smart girl. I don't know if you've ever had that happen to you. <laughs> now, now, is Laura a lot like you, or is this is was this hard for you to get to? Um... <laughs> You know, I've been watching uh, a lot of the um, People versus OJ, and I feel like pleading at the, the fifth. Is that how you say it? Yeah. No, um, it's I, uh, it's fair pronounced fifth. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I. you know what? I didn't have a hard time understanding where Lara was coming from, because uh-huh. I think most young people will tell you these days, like, We've all been there. dating is really tricky. Sure. Um, yeah. And the lines of what's acceptable and what's like kind of all right to mm-hmm. do it's it's a little blurry so Lara was a really fun interesting character mm-hmm. to get into for sure it, it's funny i'm looking at my list of questions i i didn't really you guys i ran in here kind of quick I, i'm getting oh, red just looking at because i have to ask oh, this next, charlie i have to ask this next question mm, go for it <laughs> okay so on the first day of the filming uh-huh. You had a really interesting scene. It was with you and two other people, so it was a three-way. Tell me about that. Well, it wasn't a conversation. Um, <laughs> like right now, we're having a three-way conversation. So, right, right. Um, that's not what it was. Uh, yeah, you know, it's it's interesting how independent film works and how movies work in general. Mm-hmm. I was really bl- blessed to work with a phenomenal crew and, and mm-hmm. Qu- Quincy Rose, who's our director and the writer of the piece. Um, you know, I think that he wanted to sort of get that scene uh, in the can, if you will. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> you got it in the it can, was a, all right. a moment in the story where <laughs> three of the main characters spend the night together very intimately. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I wasn't really aware when I was when I was offered the part that that was going to be the first thing we were doing. But that is the uh-huh. first thing uh-huh. we did mm-hmm. for sure. Well, you so. you got comfortable with your co with your coworkers real quick, huh? Yeah. Real quick. You ever do that? <laughs> yeah, you ever well, go to a first day on a job and take all your clothes off? Absolutely, all the time. <laughs> I get fired a lot though, so that's <laughs> yeah. It's day two oh, that he's always worried baby. about. <laughs> what can I tell you? I'm you know I'm a young actress in Hollywood doing what I can. You, yeah, you got to You got to work. You so gotta work. we love. To yeah. ask, we love to ask this, uh, Jillian. Uh, how did it all start for you? How did you begin uh, this acting thing? Oh man, Something. you know, I just there was never anything else for me. I, mm-hmm. w- I was I was three in my first play. It was called The Color Wheel, and I, you know what? I think I peaked. Really, I think that was like <laughs> mm-hmm. I think that that was the play of my life. But no, I, you know, I I always enjoyed. Uh, human condition and, and characters and people mm. and, and I've always been really curious since I was little about what makes people tick and mm-hmm. and why they are the way they are and I, I just studied it as long as I could be thinking I guess my mom has some really embarrassing photographs of me <laughs> reading Shakespeare on the toilet at like five years old so. wow. more embarrassing um, than the first uh, scene <laughs> of the movie you say that again more embarrassing than your first scene that you shot <laughs> oh you know um yeah, yeah, I, yeah, the first scene wasn't embarrassing. It's a beautiful display of affection. What can Love I tell it. you? Love yeah. it. I'm not embarrassed. Oh, great. That's actually really good to hear. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, I think, the, look, they did a beautiful job with the film. And as it, the title is Friends Effing Friends, right? So you mm-hmm. think, like, wow, there's a lot of effing going on. But yeah. I think what the director did so brilliantly was he really wanted to comment on all the different ways in which mm. you can interact with your right. friends, if yeah. you will. Um, and so even though there's... A, ton of really beautiful and interesting sex in the film there's also a lot of relationships and and it gets tricky so there's something interesting i mean you know it's not porn there's Mm -hmm. a reason why we end up in a room together and i think you by the time you get to that point in the film you want to see everybody um sort of you know so you didn't just order a pizza 
<laughs> right, and then the guy, the pizza delivery guy shows up. Right. So it's funny. One of my co-stars who who plays Camille, uh, her name is Vanessa Dubasso. She is mm-hmm. incredible. She is just so on point in this movie. I, I love her performance so much. And when we had a little screening in Los Angeles, like every time she showed up on camera, everybody was like, "Woo!" Because it just meant like, "Here it go." Yeah, okay. Like you know, it, felt, it feels very much like the pizza guy shows up and everybody's standing there. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, my character was a, a you know a little less uh, excited every time she got to have sex, but what can I tell you? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, yeah, I was just going to say, you said you got your, you started your career at the age of three? Uh Uh-huh, yeah, my first play, I was three. Yeah, because when you said that, I thought you were going to tell me that your first play was preschoolers, effing preschoolers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just preschoolers picking boogers. What what were we doing? No, but you know, my family's like, I have the best family in the world, man. They've Mm -hmm. they've just always been so kind and supportive. And this is just, it's just endlessly fascinating to me. You know, I don't know how I'll ever stop. Mm-hmm. Now, you. You, that's how you know you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You, you're right. you're you're a writer as well. Tell me yeah. about that. Yeah. Oh. Well, I think at a certain point, um, you read so many other people's words, and then they sort of get all tangled up in your head, and then you start mm-hmm. thinking, like, well, what you know, what stories can I tell? Mm-hmm. And um, you know, I, I I'd like to think I'd like to be able to contribute to society in some way that gets and you know people's voices out there that wouldn't otherwise have a platform and um so i write plays and um i'm working on a television pilot too actually one of them um we just shot and we're in the editing mm-hmm. process which is very interesting it's about gentrification and mm-hmm. um which is not funny by the way so it's no, like yeah, that is not, that is not a funny, funny topic yeah. that's a very right. serious no, topic funny. um but so it's been really interesting and um you know i i love to write it, it's it's very much second nature to me, so it just was sort of a natural progression of things. Mm-hmm. If you ever need like a production assistant for any of these, <laughs> things, yeah. you know, yeah, go ahead De- and give us a call. Devin is the ultimate uh, <laughs> yeah. production. Assistant. I love it. I yeah. hope you're handsome. I love when a handsome man gets me coffee. He is. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> uh, he's so, he's so, dashing. <laughs> I'm dapper. I'm dapper. That's yeah. So so Jillian, uh, we are in the political season. Any thoughts on on, oh, on this on we this went, circus? Speaking of effing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we oh, I thought it went, it went right. It went, uh, you know, it went right, w- right with what we're talking about. Any thoughts on uh, on uh, uh, breaking news that we saw yesterday afternoon? Um, I don't have any thoughts on that. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Yeah. I, I, um, we're we're in such an interesting time, mm-hmm. and I will say that if you're sitting up and paying attention, uh-huh. you, you care a lot, and you're going to get out and vote, and you're going to vote for what's important to you. Awesome, and, and and it is good. It does make good. Uh, my writer friends have told me that the, the the characters that we're seeing, I mean, the writing, they're just like writing pages of this stuff. Is that the same with you when you see everything happening in the world? It's insane. It is yeah. insane yeah. and so inspiring. But you know, everybody at every time in history seems to feel like this is the time. This is the craziest it's ever been. These mm-hmm. are the most interesting mm-hmm. people. You know, in some ways, it seems like. Uh, what can I say? I wish it was a little bit more interesting. Mm-hmm. Is that oh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Wow, she's bored. She's yeah. bored. Well, she just, what was the yeah. fella's name? Uh, Ken Bone. Oh, yeah, oh, Ken boy, Bone. Ken yeah, Bone. that guy's great. He's a classic already. What a red sweater that fella has yeah. on. Yeah, nice. Goodness. You think he did it on purpose? Was he like trying to get like a news job maybe or... Absolutely not. I think he's just a genius. I think he's sitting back. I heard the red Reveling sweater was actually... 300 Instagram followers. I, I love heard, Ken Bone. I heard the, the red sweater was actually Plan B. Yeah, really? Really? Yeah, wow. and what happened was is his dress shorts, or his dress slacks when he went to put them on, ripped from end to Woo! end. And so he ended up changing Changing outfits. his whole outfit, huh? Yep, that was wow. what I had heard. From an interview with him, so there you Gotta go. Gotta wow. love a good wardrobe malfunction. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> just, just to have a red sweater for a Plan B, pff, that's in the game right there. Yeah, there Look, you go. Ken, you're just doing your thing. You know, my father's name is Ken, so all these funny uh, little anecdotes that are going on really give me an extra chuckle. Wow, wow. <laughs> nice. All right, so... Um, but, you know, he's a lawyer in Pennsylvania, and I think hmm. it is really interesting generationally to see difference of opinions and... You know, I like the idea that everybody keeps an open mind and Mm -hmm. listens to each other and... You know, I'm like living in a fairy tale land, thinking that's possible. But what can I tell you? Well, I think I think it's possible. I think you know, we just right now there's uh, there's a lot of anger 
you yeah. know, on on both sides. And and if we could just momentarily get past that anger uh-huh. and communicate, we could end up in a situation that you're talking about. And I yeah. think the answer might be more friends effing friends. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, if everybody just got laid more often, my goodness, <laughs> I mean, they might relax. The, the party, I, uh, wow, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm a huge proponent. There have to be so <laughs> many edits before this yeah. gets to the you, FM dial. I'm you are welcome you. back on this show. <laughs> no, but, you know, I hope that your audience goes out and watches the movie because, you know, on a personal level, I, this is just an amazing, amazing amount of work and, and love and effort, for lack of a better word, in terms of figuring out what it's like to be young and dating mm, in Los mm-hmm. Angeles these days, that it's an interesting thing. And what Quincy Rose did that, that was also so brilliant is, you know, there's no mention of social media. So there's mm-hmm, no, mm-hmm. like, Tinder mm-hmm. app or, oh, I posted on Instagram. He kept that stuff really out of it. So it's almost like, you know, I, he's he's Woody Allen's grand, godson, um, mm, and mm, so he was heavily in, influenced by Woody Allen's yeah. work, obviously. And this really feels like an updated version of a Woody Allen picture, um, mm-hmm. because you know you can only write from your perspective. And I think that Quincy, being young and bumbling around Hollywood and New York City, really has an interesting and fresh perspective on some of the hilarity that goes with dating when you're that, you know, that confused and that lost in the world. So there's a lot of sex, but it's also quite interesting. So I hope that your audience checks it out. Friends effing friends effing friends. We're on iTunes and Amazon video. Oh, perfect. And, and awesome. what's, what's your social uh, media Yeah, information? give a shout out, Jillian. Well, so I'm so we Jillian can Lee. You. Yeah. Jillian Lee, L-E-I-G-H, that's like Vivian Lee. Gotcha. Um, mm-hmm. Or Jennifer Jason. Uh, no oh. relation, unfortunately. <laughs> It's my favorite. Um, but yeah, I'm Jillian Lee on Facebook. I have a, a brand new fan page. Thank you so much to my PR hey, team. Awesome. Um, and, uh, and then I'm on Instagram as the Jilly situation because there always is one. Although that's <laughs> private, so you'll have to ask. Um, and, uh, and that's really it, you know? I got it. Awesome. Uh, Jillian, last question. Uh, where are you headed from here? What's uh, right. any future Disneyland. projects? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to just F all my friends, really. <laughs> <laughs> That's my long term plan. I got some projects in the works, and if you guys check me out, um, you know, even on Amazon or iTunes, a couple of my other movies are out there. And then, like I said, I'm working on two pilots, and we'll see how it goes. Always writing for the theater and. You know, I won the Los Angeles Theater Festival last year with a play nice. I wrote called wow. Buff, which nice. I loved. And, you know, we had Seth Lee starring in that. He's in The Accountant, which just mm-hmm. came out. Oh, so wow. to get oh, a chance yeah. to support. Go yeah. see so Seth. He's a brilliant young actor. Really proud of him. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's some interesting things down the line. But, yeah, follow Great me on stuff. social media, and I'll tell you what's going on. Fun. Great Jillian stuff, Lee on K Beach Mornings on the Beach. Jillian, you have an open seat here anytime, and if you'd love to come yes, in the yes. studio... We, oh, I'd love we that. might even give you some coffee if you're nice. Probably yeah, not. Yeah. I, I love coffee, but I'm a coffee snob, so you keep that stuff on. No, okay. <laughs> I have, we have Starbucks, so we, we have she said snob. Yeah. She didn't. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's not. That's not going to cut it for her. No, she needs okay. a real coffee shop. If my mother's coming with me, you'll have to have Dunkin' Donuts. Okay. We, okay. We there is that. a Dunkin' Donuts down that. the road. There is a Dunkin' Donuts. Absolutely. <laughs> we got that. Yes. I'm, a, I'm a Philly girl. Yeah. Donuts. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. All right. There we go. Very All right, nice. gentlemen, thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jillian Lee on Mornings Great on the Beach. Right.